Folks, we're back at the estate sale at the Hidden Treasures right here in Deland, Florida. We've got some beauties. Look at this set. Etched pitcher and eight glasses. We have two salt and peppers in the pressed glass. Lots of etched EAPG glasses and this one is full of beautiful furniture. How many of you still have a lovely silver set like that? And the cutest cream and sugar and gravy boat. And they're numbered. No stamp. I'm thinking Japan. Lots and lots of picture frames as usual. Cute lamps. And this one was full of people. <laughs> I'm checking the uh, make of that one. Ceramic, porcelain, wood, <laughs> what have you. So that $40 lamp was $20 today. We're at the last day, the 50% off. And honestly, look at that sweetest retro dresser set. English hunting scene. The, the smalls were flying out of this house. The collectibles. Good looking old coach. And today, 200 takes it home working clocks for you clock lovers and lots of art prints in fact lots of art period there's a sweet electric clock and you can see crystal pieces this i think was neat and it just needed a glue on the bottom for that trim Oh boy, I see Westmoreland, I see Fenton. All kinds of kitchen, cutlery, gadgets, even silverware and flatware that wasn't out of the package. Thought that was cute too. That's an FTD florist picture. Can you believe it? And who doesn't like all the gadgets to make your breakfast and your dinner better? Look at this, all kinds of extra flatware, cutlery. like that mug but I like this table better look at this beautiful thing that's not just a cheery finish that's cheery and it is a gorgeous stand real pretty lamp too Angela was eyeballing this from the advertisement <laughs> and I really love this Tuffeted chair. In the French wee oui, wee oui, flavor. All kinds of smalls and plates. And here's an English blue and white. Collector pieces. A beautiful, can you believe that, Hutch, guys? And dressers were going out the door behind me. 
And I'm telling you, the furniture here, there wasn't a mark on anything. Beautiful drop leaf table there. Look at that rounded double hutch. Angels and Art Deco pieces, real cute. And that little table was just superb with the green marble top. Here's a unique MCM dresser. And it looks like hand-carved little birds and ducks. Now here we are. That secretary was 200 today. Now I love the statue for Angela. And even more so this Hollywood Regency lamp that almost came home. It might have come home. Beautiful Nippon vase. Quite lovely. You know, we love um, lots of Christmas smalls and tidbits, cute angels, and so on you can see here. Nothing that we needed, really. Good looking tree. 250 today. You see, I have a plate in my hand, too. <laughs> and a camera. So you can see the, the bedroom sets here. Roll top desk. I mean, it's all, it's all like showroom stuff. No kids to mess these up. Real good. Another desk. And I'll come back in a room if I think I didn't get to finish. There's people, you know, people, people in the way and windows with bright light and so on. So I'll try to comb around back again and again. And look at the linens. Coming up, after the American Tourister luggage, we're going to go to the table and see if I could find anything out of this sale and do a haul for you right now. Folks, we're back from the Hidden Treasures estate sale we went to today. So let's look at what we have to keep from that sale. We do have another batch, and believe me, it's just as big as this one that's going to go in our store from there, too. Just, it was crystal day, it was glass day, I guess, at this one. And it was loaded with furniture. I saw furniture leaving, too. And it was all spotless and beautiful. And we have a medium pair of candlesticks, crystal by Faustoria. I loved them. Angela loved them, of course, and they have to stay here. <laughs> you know, we have a few pieces, and we'll get a good close-up of this, but they are etched on the bottom and fantastic. Look at this pair. So, real happy with that. I know as life marches on and people change their decor and change things, they've put crystal aside. They've gotten rid of it, they've given it away, they've sold it, or they shoved it in their cabinet. But there's just as many of us out there that know how nice it is 
to bring it back out and use it. And it makes any table elegant and gorgeous again, right? Where you're gonna go, but we have, you'll see in the video, two sets of the sweetest little pressed glass salt and peppers. I love this size. Now we're gonna be fair and we're gonna put one in the store and one's gonna stay home just to be unselfish about it. Let's look at those on the turntable. They're in perfect shape. They have a chrome lid, as you can see, and we'll see those close up with the robot. Next, got to add to the Cruet collection. <laughs> this one we did not have. It almost went in the store, but it just can't quite get past even Angela. I'm blaming her because I'm telling you, we can't do it. We love that collection. And you know, that was started by my mother. So we have to keep it going. It's a family tradition. There we go. Get that up there. And that is, this is probably American Brilliant and it is etched. Beautiful piece. Look at it on that display turntable. While we're on the crystal, I might as well finish up with something that just took my breath away there. This pair, which I cannot exactly find the same ones. It's in a full, very heavy lead crystal. They're etched, they're cut top and bottom, and they are made by Heise. I mean, they are fantastic. And you folks know out there, I don't claim to be the crystal king, the candlestick guru. I don't know everything. But I, when I do know it, you're going to hear it. And what I think I know, you'll hear that too. So that's where we're at on out. They're absolutely staggering. I'm sure you agree. In this pyramidal shape, the obelisk shank here cut around the top and the bottom here on the edge and etched all sides all the way up around and the bottom here. Look at this and we'll get a good close view of those. Not a flea bite. Guys, today, you know I went at half price day. Last day, they're still sitting there, $17.50 for the pair today. <laughs> I'll catch you up. The little pair I got, they had $8 on them. So I got them for half. The cruet, same thing. $8, got it for half. Let's move along and see something new. Oh man, I, I just can't get over these. Just nuts about those. Oh boy. What's funny is when I saw the ad initially looked at the sale, you know, you can check your uh, estate sales on Google and pull up estatesales.com. And a couple of these things, you know, I went to the sale knowing I wanted them. So what I love is getting them and coming home with them. Of course, this is an incredible bird on a basket in the baby blue satin by Westmoreland. Yes, you're right. If you said Westmoreland, look at this dandy. They had $35 on it. You know, I don't want to pay that, but today still there. I don't know how, $17.50 for this candy dish from the 60s or 70s. 
where you're gonna go guys we add very little to that light blue or baby blue collection like you hear me talk maybe one or two pieces a year that's all that'll get but this is a dandy look how pretty on that display light do I have to say it <laughs> off the chain good right here now some more goodies look at this little darling this is the sweetest little Bavarian dish again and I think Deb and Brad Getz is going to get a kick out of this. A little nut dish in the burnt orange poppy with the gold trim. So it goes so good with what I had and what you sent, right? Love, love, love that. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Did we think it was porcelain before we checked? Yes, we did. Okay, there it is. Beautiful piece. And it is signed by the artist. That's a no-brainer that it's hand-painted, if you didn't know before. Cobalt blue, you know, we got some here in this house. Gotta have it. This is a beautiful vase. EAPG, maybe 70s. Love the size. Look at the color here. Real deep, rich cobalt blue. And we talked about that. In the Depression era, they were not deep and rich. They were rather light. So this is not Depression. It's after. I put this vase between late 50s and late 70s. Right in that window. Okay, what did I miss out on at the uh, Daytona Flea? Because <laughs> my buddy was dreaming, I think, out there. A new plate in the Miss America pink pattern by Anchor Hocking from the 30s. This is flawless. There's not a flea bite. Okay, today at the sale, they had $10 on it. He wanted 20 Today, I got this for 5 Look at this beautiful thing. I'm collecting it again because Angela loves it. No doubt, it is precious. Look how good. Last but not least, the artist in me kicked in and I said, I haven't bought any new brushes in a long time. Why? Because I don't get to paint. <laughs> Too busy to paint anyway. This lady was an artist. She had canvases all over. She had equipment all over the house. And they had bundled brushes up. So, just to show you, I'm not out there just buying glass. I'm happy to say I'll be able to do some artwork with somebody's artist brushes that loved them and worked with them before. So there's a lot of life left in these brushes and they're quite wonderful. And they gave me a good bundle deal on those. Guys, I don't know how you're going to beat it. You got to try. Get off the couch. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tease you. And look, we have to, when there's a sale, we have to get there. We have to go. You know what's coming. We're going to be decorating, I promise. And it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. And we're going to kick that off with, what do we usually do? A shopping trip to Hobby Lobby. Then we'll do a haul and we'll start decorating. And that's very soon. Coming very soon. Also, real quick, August is the beginning of bringing our Fridays back for you. 
so you can have fun. Hey, I might even have time to shave. Look at this. Be good. Take care, everybody. Until the next amazing, over-the-top, incredible collector shopping and decorator videos. Enjoy your summer. You know what's left. <laughs> See you soon. And the rest of you, come back from vacation. We miss you. Jeepers. Who takes a 30-day vacation? Bye, guys. <laughs>